hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are making fufu which is usually enjoyed with some sort of soup in africa it is a starch or a carbohydrate uh, usually made of cassava plantain or cocoa yam or yam and the typical way of making this is by pounding it as you see on your screen but since we are abroad we don't have the mortar and pestle so we are using the fufu flour to achieve this if you're new here my name is gifty a warm and pleasant welcome to you kindly subscribe if you haven't done so and also like and share this video so we can get it to a lot of people let's dive right in so in today's video as i mentioned i am using the fufu powder and i'm using the one by mami yeah i used to use um the mama's choice but then my african lady said this one contains no color so this is my second time of using it so i will cut it open and pour some into the bowl and i also have some hot water you can do this on the stove but i'm using i'm doing it in the microwave today so you want to use a microwave safe bowl so once i pour it in i'll add some hot water this is from the tap so it's not like super super hot and i'll mix it to the consistency that i like So this is the consistency that I am going for. It's not too light and it's not too thick. It's in between. It's better to mix it a little thick so that way you can add some water if it's too thick once you start cooking it. Rather than making it too light, then you end up having to add in more fufu flour to it. So I'll put this in the oven, I mean the microwave for about six minutes. Six minutes is up and so as you can see, our fufu is starting to cook on the sides. So I'll give it a mix then put it back in there for about six minutes. This is the second time our fufu is coming out of the microwave. So I'll drive it until it comes together very well and it's nice and smooth. As you can see, it's very well cooked, but it's a bit thick for me, so I will um, add a little bit of water and I'm boiling some hot water in the kettle so once this gets hot I will add a bit to it and then basically put it back in the microwave I'll poke some holes in the fufu so the water can penetrate through and cook it very well it's already cooked but I just want it to be a bit softer for me so depending on the consistency that you like your fufu here yeah. but I'll go ahead and put this in there for about three four more minutes and that will be it. This is the third time the fufu is coming out of the microwave. It's nice and hot and soft enough for me. Just the way I like it, it's in between. Yeah, it's not too hard, it's not too soft, it's just in between. And what I find is when your fufu is too soft, as a udi, yes, you see, I never come do, yeah, but if it's in between it can hold you for a very long time so i will drive it until it's nice and um smooth and all the moisture has been um absorbed as you see me do and also sometimes what i do is i'll cook some plantain when i use the fufu flour i'll cook some plantain blend it and add it to it uh, when it's cooked like this or the second time i'll add it to it and then put it in the microwave one more time so i'll just keep driving it until it's nice and smooth it's now time to form our fufu so I start by adding a little bit of water into my washed asanka or potoyuwa and I'll add some of the fufu to it if you're using a bowl you can add a little bit of water to it and this is so the fufu doesn't stick at the bottom of the earthenware so I have my tapuli as well and I'll use that to basically form it which helps you to get like a nice smooth finish so yeah as you see me do that's how I'll form it and yeah guys it's quite easy let me know in the comment section how you make your fufu do you use cold water do you use hot water how do you make it do you like to do it on the stove top yeah let me know how you make it if you don't have the tapoli you can also use your hands it's not a big deal as long as you know you form it nicely so once it's done i will turn it over and that'll be it and we'll have a nice smooth finish 
once you turn it over dump a little bit of water on the surface of it so it doesn't dry out and that is basically it so i'll continue forming the rest of the fufu and you can enjoy this with any type of soup that you like you can also um wrap this in a clean film a food safe one of course if you're not eating it right away and th that will help it stay nice and warm we are enjoying ours with some akokon quine i'll have the link in the description box down below if you haven't seen this video let me know in the comment section how you like to enjoy your food like what soup do you like to enjoy it most with that is it for today guys this is quite simple and easy the easiest way if you don't have plantain you don't have cassava you don't have all that stuff available thank you so much for doing this with me kindly like share and subscribe down below if you haven't done so also leave me a comment let us have a chat in the comment section down below and until we meet again Stay blessed, stay out of trouble, and be well. Bye, y'all.